Hi everyone. You may have already seen my video on how to make a frame, just a simple frame using the pierced squares. So today I'm going to show you how to take it a step further, that if you've got the set A and B, how to make double frames. Now this would work with any of the sets where you've got an A and a B, such as the rectangles, the pierced squares, even the new stitched oct octagons, hexagons, because they have really thin edges. But the ones I'm using today are these shadow box collection dies. They work like an A and a B, as in there's a quarter of an inch difference between these frames, but if you take one from the other set, it fits in exactly and gives you an eighth of an inch frame. So this is the lattice shadow box collection. This is the scalloped one. Now, if you haven't got any of Sue's dies yet, these are great starters because not only can you do the frames, we've also got a nice decorative one as well. So today I'm going to be making a card using this die as my center. So I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to find a die where it fits perfectly inside the cut edge. So that's the one I'm going to be using for my scalloped. Now I'm going to take my scallop and I'm going to go here. And the one that's just slightly bigger is this one. But I'm going to be using all three just as I did in my first video to make my frame. But then I want the second little edge, so I need to find one which is slightly bigger again, which is the biggest one from this side. Okay. So first off, I'm going to make my frame using these three out of white card. So just as I did in the first video, these two are going to be my cutting ones. This central one is just there as a spacer. So I'm going to take some tape and just as before I'm going to place it, I'm going to tape it on the inside. Then, I'm going to take the one that's just slightly bigger and use that just as a spacing guide. Now my third one, I want to make sure I tape on the outside. Otherwise that central one is not going to come out. So again, that middle one, I've placed facing down. One, because I don't want it to cut, so if I left it in there, it wouldn't matter. But two, just looks different, so I remember to take it out. And by placing it facing up, you had the flat bit on your cardstock, which made it easier to keep it down. Now these are quite large. If you're going to put these through your machine straight on, you'd find it quite difficult because your machine is hitting a really long straight edge. So when I send it through on my plate, I'm just going to turn it a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these out. Now by sanding it through on an angle, it hit this corner first, which is much easier to do than hitting a big, long, straight edge. I'm just going to take it off. The outside is waste. Now this inside bit, I can keep because I can use it as a backing for my lattice later. And here is my frame. Okay. 
Now, human error, by doing it by eye like that, even though I have my spacer, I could still be slightly off. That's not an issue, because when we come to do our second layer, I can sort that out. So I'm just putting back my lattice ones. And again, I'm going to start with the one that's just bigger than my frame. Now, usually I like to do white on white, but that'll be quite tricky on the video. So I'm going to just bring in some periwinkle cardstock. And I'm going to cut it down. Now, I'm not going to cut the inside quite yet. Just going to cut the outside. Again, I'm putting it in at an angle just so it flows over easily. And now I've got a stitched rectangle which fits perfectly around my stitched frame. Now the reason I said if you were slightly off here or a little bit wonky it won't matter is we're actually going to use this white frame as a positioner for cutting out the center. So I'm just marking the tops of both, just so that when I come back later on to line them, I can do it straight. So a T for top or X for to match up, doesn't matter what you do. Now, when I go back to my scalloped one, that smallest one, it's actually gonna fit perfectly inside. So I'm just gonna take some tape, Tape it towards the inside again, so that I can take my white frame off. I'm just going to send that again on an angle. And now, I've got a perfect double frame. Now, if I was to match the top to the actual bottom, you may notice it doesn't quite fit as nicely. That's just because by eye, slight difference, a little millimeter here actually causes two millimeters down here, doesn't match up as nicely. But as soon as you match up that T and T, a lovely fit. So I'm gonna add some double-sided tape. You could put foam tape if you wanted some extra dimension. I'm just going for speed here. Placing it down carefully. And breathe. There we are. That's our frame done. Now, the next stage, I want to do that decorative inside. So I'm going to take another piece of white cardstock and I'm going to cut a rectangle the same size as my biggest one. So just trim down my card. Sending it through. Get rid of my waste on the outside. So now this will fit exactly on there. And the lattice die fits exactly inside. So I'm going to hold it, take this away, add some tape, running it through. Get my 
fresh. Now you don't have to cut this so big. As long as it's just hidden behind the frame, that's fine. The reason I like to do it big is it just makes lining up much easier. Now if I'd been clever, I would have marked these top and top again for my frames, but I didn't. But as you can see, it all fits perfectly inside. Now that little waist bit of blue, you can put behind the waist piece of white, you can place behind. But then if you're gonna do that, save this for another project, get your card blank, your base, and just stick it straight on. So you don't need that extra little bit. Okay, so I'm not gonna make up the card right now because that's all I wanted to show you was how to make the double frames. But as you can see, how easy it is. And as I say, you can use your pierced squares, your stitch squares, your rectangles, whatever you want, as long as you've got a set A and a set B. Thanks for watching.